friends, good morning and welcome to church. My name is Omaomi. I'm so happy to be in the year 2023. We are looking forward to this year and here we are. This is our second Sunday in the year 2023. Aren't you glad that God brought you and your family members into this year? So we are going to thanks and thank God for what he has done for us. So right now, I want us to get ready stand up on your feet in case you're sitting down and go into this praise and worship session i will be right back after the praise and worship session hi hi friends how are you doing all right so i want you to have your dancing shoes ready this morning as you want to give god praise are you ready? Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Come on now. Let me see you dance. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You are God. You are not just big. You are not just large. You are a great God. Let me hear you sing. You are God. You are God. You are not just bigger. You are not just larger. You are a great God. One more time. You are God. You are God. Let me hear you sing. Come on. You are not just bigger. Hey. You are not just larger. You are a great God. Let's demonstrate. You are big, 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 big. You are big, 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 big. Let me hear you say. Large, large, large. You are great, 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 great. You are a great God. Yeah, you're doing it well. You are big, 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 big. You are big, big, big. You are big, 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 large. You are great, 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 great. You are a great God. One more time. You are big, 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 big. You are big, big. Come on out. Come on out. Yeah. Large, 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 large. You are great, 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 great. Hey, you are a great God. Oh, yeah, say. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. Come and say, he has taken away my sorrows, now I am free. I got my hallelujah, bro. I got my parallelia, parae. Say, because of Jesus, every day, na shakara, they do. Double, double, heavenly blessings, naima, they receive. Ah, eh. Surely, goodness and mercy is always to follow me. Say, I, God has given me victory. Come on now. I, He has given me victory. Say, I, God has given me victory. Come on. I, He has given me victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Let me see you dance. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Come on, hallelujah, hey, hey, hallelujah, hey. One more time, hallelujah, hey, hey, hallelujah, hey, hey, hallelujah, hey. Let me see you dance, let me see you dance, let me see, hallelujah, hey. Hey, come on now, come on now, come on now. Mm, hallelujah, hey. Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah. Come on now. He's the sound of victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Let me hear you say. Let the sound of rejoicing feel. Let me see you jump. Let me hear you shout. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hey. let me see you dance, it's the sound of victory, ooh, hallelujah, hey. 
Mm, alleluia. Oh. Let me hear you say, let the sound of rejoicing fill this house. Let me hear you shout. Woo! Welcome back. I'm so happy. You know, the Bible says that I am glad when they say, let us go into the house of the Lord. So you are in the presence of the Lord right now. Let's close our eyes as we say a word of prayer. In Jesus name. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your tender mercies towards our lives. Thank you for this new year, 2023. We are so grateful that you kept us alive up to this moment. Lord, we say thank you. Give us a heart to understand your word as we go into your word today. For in Jesus' name of prayer, amen. So we are still in our series of thankfulness thankfulness and today we are thanking God for making us our topic for today is thank you for making me that's our topic so we're going to read a very interesting story as a story about a great prophet in the Old Testament his name is Jeremiah so we're going to see how God made Jeremiah and what God did through jeremiah right now i want you to take your bible and your writing material as we go into the book of jeremiah open your bibles to jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 1. very good now let's go jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 1 it says the words of jeremiah son of hilkiah one of the prophets of anathoth in the territory of Benjamin, the word of the Lord came to him in the 13th year of the reign of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah. And through the reign of Joachim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, down to the fifth month of the 11th year of Zedekiah, son of Josiah, king of Judah, when the people of Jerusalem went into exile. The word of the Lord came to me saying before i formed you in the womb i knew you before you were born i set you apart i appointed you as a prophet to the nations alas sovereign lord i said i do not know how to speak i am too young but the lord said to me do not say i am too young you must go to everyone i send you and say whatever i command you do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you see, Jeremiah? I see the branch of an almond tree, I replied. The Lord said to me, you have seen correctly, for I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. Wow. Our topic for today is, thank you for making me. And we are on a series of thankfulness. Jeremiah was a young boy like you. And then God came to him and spoke to him and told him, I am making you a prophet unto these nations. And you know, back in those days, prophets are, are people, they are very treasured in the society. They are so important. When a prophet comes out and says, Thus saith the Lord, those were the words that was used then. This is what God is saying. The people immediately listen because they know they speak directly from the heart of God. So now God is coming to a little boy and telling him, I'm making you a prophet unto the nation of Israel. 
when I say I am coming to judge, make sure you tell them. Because if Jeremiah does not tell them, then he's to be blamed. Now God came to Jeremiah and told him all of that. Hmm. First of all, Jeremiah felt like, who am I? But at the end, he was grateful to God. Now, when we were little boys and little girls, we were taught one thing to always say after getting a gift. What do those two words that you were taught? What were those two words that you were taught? To always say what? Thank you. Thank you. So whenever you get a gift, you learn to say thank you. And we've grown up. Remember, we learned that there were five magic words. Sorry, thank you. Please excuse me. And the last one is pardon me. Sorry, thank you. That is what we are teaching on today. Th learning to say thank you, God, for everything. So remember that it is very important to always tell God thank you. You know, when mommy gives us something that we love so much, for instance, you get a pizza and ice cream, you weren't even expecting it. What do you say? You rush and say, thank you, mommy, thank you, dad. Or we just finished a Christmas celebration. Some of us got lots of Christmas gifts, lots of, you know, nice gifts under the Christmas tree that we had to open. And when you get those gifts, what happened? You scream and say, thank you, mommy, thank you, mommy, it's an iPad, wow. What you've longed for. And sometimes, even if it's not something you've even thought of, you are so excited about it, so grateful to mom and dad, the same way. We are trying to teach you over the next few lessons that we have for the month of January to be thankful for every little gift that God has given to you. Do you know the life that you have is a gift? So God, back to our story, God gave Jeremiah a gift. And this gift he gave to Jeremiah was that he has made Jeremiah to be a prophet unto nations. And Jeremiah has accepted at first, Jeremiah kind of gave complaint, just like you get a gift and like, well, this is not what I really wanted. I wanted them. Um, maybe I wanted a laptop, but I got, I got, um, maybe you got, you got something quite different or you got, you wanted um, a laptop or you wanted an iPad or you wanted PS5 and then you got um, something quite different from what you got a book or you got a box of chocolates or you got something quite different completely from what you asked for you know you feel like okay thank you you know but this is not what you wanted that was exactly jeremiah's state jeremiah knew he needed gifts from god but he never knew god was going to give him this kind of very huge gifts he was scared. He felt like, what is this? You're asking me to go and tell daddies and mommies that this is what God is saying. Oh my God, I can't do that. I'm just too young for that. And then God said, don't say you are too young. If I give a command, what I say, you do. And Jeremiah kind of tell, told God, thank you. Because at the end of the day, he accepted the gifts. He accepted what God has given to him. And God asked him that, what do you see? He told him exactly what he has seen. And God said, that's my boy. You've seen your gifts. You've appreciated your gifts. Now you go and do exactly as I have commanded. And trust me, Jeremiah did exactly what God wanted him to do. And he became a prophet that was so honored during his days. Today we are reading about him because he was grateful to God concerning his gift. So whatever gift God brings our way this year, always learn to say thank you. Now, the first gift is thanking him for making me. 
Jeremiah thanked God for making him. He was grateful to God. If he wasn't, he wouldn't have even accepted the role as a prophet, as a young boy. Maybe Jeremiah was eight or nine. I know some people were like, oh, how did you know that Jeremiah was eight or nine? Come on. He said he was young. I believe maybe if he was maybe maybe a teenager, but probably nine. You remember Samuel was so young when God gave him the gift to, to become a prophet over Israel. So the same thing. Whatever God gives to us, we have to learn to tell him thank you. And this first lesson in this series, we are telling him, thank you for making me. I want you to say that. Say, thank you for making me. Very good. Thank you, God, for making me. Because we do not even own ourselves. We can't even create the air on our head. You can't even create or make the, the, the air that will breathe in. You do not own the fact that you could walk from here to your classroom or to your school or walk to church. God owned everything. He made everything and he made us. And when he made us, he said, you are wonderfully and gloriously made by him. When he saw you, he said, this is good. You are handsome. You are beautiful. He made you in his own image. So this morning, we are coming to tell God, thank you for making me. I want you to say that again. I want you to say, thank you for making me. Thank you, God, for making me. Very good. Now we're going to look at our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 8. I want you to say that. Say 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 8. Very good. Now we'll go. It says, Give praise to God. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Let's take it again. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 8. Very good. Give praise to God. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. I want us to keep reciting that memory verse all through the week because when we come back again next week Sunday, we are still going to recite that memory verse. Thanking God for making me. Thank God for making you. Thank God for bringing you into the family that you were born in. No matter the state, maybe you're very wealthy, maybe you're average, maybe you're not yet there. But we are grateful to God that he made us who we are today. And no matter the gifts that God has given to you, probably it's five talents, two or one. No matter the gift, we have to use God's gift. If you are not using the gift that God has placed in you, you are not telling him thank you. Just imagine when God finally came and told Jeremiah that this is what's going to happen to Israel. And Jeremiah said, duh. I never told you that I was going to be a prophet. You brought it upon me. Hmm, come on. Can a clay tell the potter how he wants to be molded? No. No, absolutely no. So we are clay in the hands of our maker. We cannot tell him exactly what we want. So if God has given you the gift to sing, we just have to use the voice to glorify God. If God has given you the gift to act, you have to use that acting to glorify God. If God has given you an athletic gift, you just, whatever the gift is that God has placed on the inside of you, you have to use it to tell someone that Jesus loves him. You use the gift of acting, ensure you tell people, Jesus loves you. You become pro in what you do. And somebody walks up to you like, how come you're this good? You just tell them, it's God. I recognize that he gave me this gift. And I told him, thank you. Every morning when I wake up, I tell him, thank you. You are extremely intelligent in your class. Know that you're not doing it by your own power. Because every other person wants to be that way. You tell God, thank you for giving me this brain. And giving me the grace to be able to study hard 
and pass my exams. So in everything, we ought to tell God, thank you. Are you ready to say thank you to Jesus this morning? Very good. So let's close our eyes as we say a word of prayer. Before we do that, I have some questions for us. Our first question is, our first question for today is, what did God say to Jeremiah? What did God say to Jeremiah? Very good. God told Jeremiah that he has called him to be what? Prophet unto nations. Our second question is, what excuses did Jeremiah give when God spoke to him? Yeah, Jeremiah said, I was too young. I can't walk up to grandpas and grandmas and people that are quite older than me and telling them this is what God said. Maybe if I say that, I might just get grounded for the rest of the day. And I don't want to be grounded. I just want to be my, the child that you've made me to be. That was Jeremiah's excuse. Very good. And our last question is, how did God answer that excuse? God told Jeremiah, as I have commanded, you speak. God did not give Jeremiah an excuse. He said, don't say you are a young boy. Just do as I have told you. Now, I will ask you one last question. What is the gift that God has placed in you? What is the gift that God has given to you? What instructions and commandment do you have from God? So the answers are left to you. If God has given you an instruction, ensure you obey him. It speaks to us in languages that we understand, okay? And in case God doesn't speak to you yet, I pray for you this day that you will start getting divine instructions from God concerning the friends you have, concerning the people you, you move with in class, in school, you know. We start getting clear instructions from God, even as a young boy and as a young girl. Very well. So today, are we ready to tell God thank you? Are you ready to say thank you for everything you've done? Let's close our eyes as we pray. In Jesus' name, Father, we say thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your loving kindness towards our lives. Thank you for making me me. I am so glad you made me. And I promise from henceforth, I'm going to be grateful for every little thing you bring my way. Thank you for all the highs and all the lows. I am grateful for 2023. It's going to be an exciting year for me, my mom, my dad, and my brothers and my sisters. Thank you, Jesus, for in Jesus' name of prayer. Amen. I'll see you again next week. Bye.